Educators are revisiting their security protocols after a malfunctioning door allowed two youngsters to break into Jamestown High School over the weekend. Our Bronson Rasmussen joins us live in the newsroom today with more from school leaders about how they plan to address this. Bronson? Justin, these two students were from outside the school district. While the two did not steal anything noteworthy, it appeared the pair gained entry for no more than bragging rights. Jamestown Public School Superintendent Dr. Kevin Whitaker tells us that the school is now stepping up their security measures. We have some security systems that picked up some uh, activity and uh, we found out that we had a couple of people inside the building who had um, made some extraordinary effort attempts to get into the building and uh, they were there for a relatively short period of time and uh, that transpired a couple more times. Currently, the district security patrols every day to make sure no one can gain unauthorized entry to the buildings. What we ended up determining was uh, that there was a means of entry that was caused by a specific mechanical issue, and that mechanical issue has been addressed and resolved. Um, and so the building is secure once again. Since then, the district has revised their procedure, now requiring a physical check of doors. It is unfortunate that it happened. And I think what it helped us see was that it's very important to physically try to get in during the inspection and perimeter walk that happens on an every everyday basis. Going forward, the superintendent is working with city officials to prevent future incidents and engage with the community. This news is on the heels of bullying troubles district wide. Today, I'm going to be meeting with uh, our mayor and our police chief, and we're going to be talking a little bit about uh, some community interventions that we can um, identify an early identification in whether it's conflicts or struggles or other issues and see if we can not uh, intervene in those sorts of community related issues so that we can tamp down any uh, tension around those things or any pressure around those things before they even get to kids and get to a school situation. The two accused are minors, so the school district cannot go into detail about their investigation. However, the superintendent assures us that at no time was anyone in danger. Reporting live in the newsroom, Bronson Rasmussen, WNY News Now.